What's up guys, hope you are doing well there and welcome to the channel Seed Show. I am Vimukti and as the coronavirus continues to spread across the world, government and health officials are recommending people practice social distancing and stay home as much as possible. Staying at home all day and every day for a couple of weeks maybe it seems like a punishment, but social distance is a vital to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. If you are involved in the geospatial field, this video is for you. Even if you want to try something new, to learn something new during this quarantine period, during this pandemic period, while staying at home, this video is for you too. I'm going to tell you 10 important GIS geospatial courses that you can find at Coursera. Let's get started, but before that, please hit the red subscribe button down there and click the bell icon for future notifications. This is the official website of the Coursera.org. You can find all the important links in the description section. You can find the official website and navigate for many details. Uh, you can find uh, around 4000 courses and specializations in this Coursera website. But today I will tell you 10 important courses related to GIS and Geospatial Science. Let's start with number one. This is GIS Mapping and Spatial Analysis Specialization. This course is offered by University of Toronto. Uh, you can check the link in the description section. This is especially for those new to mapping and GIS as well as everyone looking to gain a better understanding of how and how it works and why. You will learn practical skills that can be applied to your own work using cutting edge software as created by S3 the world's leading GIS company and industry partner. This is my number one course. You can find uh, uh, the course content in this uh, website, in this page. And then I'm going to my number two, Python for Data Science and Artificial Intelligence offered by IBM. This introduction to Python will kickstart your learning for Python for data science as well as programming in general. This is a beginner friendly Python course. This will take you from zero to uh, maximum level programming in Python in a matter of hours. It will take a few hours right, for this uh, course offered by IBM. You can see their ratings, how, how much uh, it has been taken out of five and some other details. This is my number three, Spatial Data Science and Applications. You can navigate for the details. And uh, if I tell you something new, this course is offered by Yonsei University. Spatial map is considered as a core infrastructure of modern IT world. This course is designed to present a firm understanding of spatial data science to the learners who would have a basic knowledge of data science and data analysis. Additionally, this could make learners realize the value of big data and the power of open software to deal with spatial science problems. This course will start with defining spatial data science. Finally, during this course, you will learn different disciplines including GIS, database management systems, data analysis, big data systems, QGIS, Postgres SQL, PostGIS, and R and many other things. This is my number three and let's go to number four geospatial science a geospatial analysis project offered by uc davis uh, university of california and in this project based course this is a project based course you will design gis based analysis from identify a concept questions or issues uh, you wish to develop all the way to final data produce and maps that you can add to your portfolio you can try this course. You can see some other information about this course. You will learn create how to create a GIS project proposal, complete a data analysis in line with your project objectives, and many other things. Skills you will gain using this course: geographic information systems, data analysis, project map analysis, and project management. Right? And five out of five ratings, six courses. Right? So let's go to number five. R programming, John Hopkins University. 
This course is offered by John Hopkins University. Uh, in this course, you will learn how to program in R and how to use R for effective data analysis. You will learn how to install and configure the software necessary for statistical programming environment. This course covers practical issues in statistical computing, which includes programming in R, reading data into R, accessing R packages, writing R functions, and many other things. Right? You can see some other details. I have provided the link in the description section. This is my number six, Imagery, Automation, and Applications, offered by University of California. Using the knowledge you have learned about ArcGIS, complete technical tasks such as raster calculations and suitability analysis. In this lesson, you will become comfortable with spatial analysis and applications within GIS during few uh, hours long modules. It will take few hours to complete the modules, 100% online. And uh, approximately uh, four weeks, it will take four weeks to complete the course, the instructor, their ratings, how many learners, around 9,000. Right. This is my number six, Internet of Things. How did we get here? Right. And take this course uh, if you want to understand what great new advances in mobile enabled products will be coming on our way, especially for those who are interested in developing further hands on expertise in designing and developing for the Internet of Things. Also, you will learn about the birth and uh, many other things of uh, telephone network, broadcast networks, and consumer electronics. This is somewhat special uh, for those who are interested in Internet of Things. And this is my number eight, Geospatial and Environmental Analysis. And you can find the link in the description section. Apply your GIS knowledge in this course on geospatial analysis, focusing on analysis tools, 3D data, working with rasters, projections, and environmental variables. This is a four weeks course. You will work through a project to get together. And what will you will learn? Create three dimensional surfaces, develop and analyze data for the geospatial analysis project, create uh, TIN models, triangulated irregular networks, and modify rasters to 3D data, design color ramps for your data. And there are some other details in this uh, web page. And let's go to my number nine. Applied Machine Learning in Python. This course introduced learners to data science through a Python programming language. This, this is a skill-based specialization is intended for learners who have a basic Python or programming background. And if you want to apply statistical um, machine learning, information visualization, text analysis and Social network analysis techniques through a prop, uh, popular Python toolkit such as uh, Pandas and many other things. If you can complete all the course, you can earn a certificate. Uh, skills you will gain Python programming, machine learning, and algorithms, machine learning, and some other things. Right? So th that's my number nine, and uh, the final one, number 10 spatial analysis and satellite imagery in GIS. In this course, you will learn how to analyze map data using different data types and different methods to answer geospatial questions. You will uh, see, you will meet different, different, different powerful analysis methods that use vector data to find special relationships within and between the data sets. Furthermore, you will learn model builder and flowcharts to solve problems. So this course is also offered by University of Toronto. These are the 10 important GIS and geospatial uh, courses you can find at Coursera. I hope you uh, got something new. You have to try this out. I hope you have uh, an idea about the courses that you must try during this quarantine period while staying at home. Make your time useful, stay home and stay safe. And don't remember to subscribe and 
like and share this video with your friends. Click the bell icon to get the latest notifications. I will be back with another video for you soon. Thank you.